Hello everybody, my name's Bill and I know stuff. And what I know today is how to make your videos pop and move using shortcut keyframes and any graphic that you want to use. It's a very simple process. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step so you can add extra pizzazz to your videos. Let's get started. We're going to start with Shotcut Open. The tutorial assumes you are already familiar with Shotcut, even if you're not familiar with keyframes. I do have tutorials for both of those, but you don't need the keyframe one. I'm going to walk you through that bit right here, right now. All right. And I've already got the clip that I want to use open. And to start with, I'm just going to find a spot where I want to drop the animations. All right, there's the first one right there. Pretty close. I'm going to use a marker. Markers are not required, and they're just a, a reference so that you can find things if you resize them, things like that. It makes it easier. All right, I've got my two spots. Let me resize this so I've got the whole thing to work with. Now we're going to add a video track. And it's easy to just go over, hit track operations, add video track. And then I'm going to go find my graphics. So the first one I'm going to use, go up to open file. And scroll to wherever it's going to be. And that's my pop right there. So we'll grab that. And you notice it's got some stuff around it. It looks just blank. But that is a transparent uh graphic it's uh that one's a png file uh, transparent jpeg is also usable doesn't matter which one you grab all right and you notice transparent you can see the rest of this we're going to add a filter so go over to filters and then go to the plus sign and mine is going to be up under favorites yours may be under video but we want size position and rotate and now we're just going to size it down. You can grab it. You can actually change things right here. It's easier to just grab a hold of it, and move it around. And I want it to be somewhere over here, close to where my hand is, because that's sort of where you're looking. And I don't like dealing with uh, fractions there, so we're going to set this for 32. And we'll call that the number that we're going to use for that. All right. And if you look at this, you'll see it just, so it does show up, appears and disappears, but it's not very sexy. So let's go ahead and click on it. And we're going to go to keyframes. And you see keyframes, you can click it here, or you can click right here where it says keyframes. Now this also has rotation, which is a little bit lower. I've got my uh, screen sized up so you see things better, but some of that stuff you can't see right away. But we don't need rotation for this one but we will for the next. And you notice it's a very short clip. Let's just go ahead and zoom everything out. And I'm at 32% right there. Oh, that was just a couple frames in. That'll work for us. And I want to set it to 1%, which is too small to actually see for most people. All right. And then if you play it, you'll see... It just shows, seems to show up from nothing, which is kind of what we're looking for. So, all right, but it's enough there that it pops in and out. Now you could leave it at that, call it good, but I like the, I like a pop effect that kind of jiggles. So we're going to go one, two more frames right there. And let's go ahead and we're going to create a point. And I actually want one that's bigger, a little bit bigger. And this is something you can play with. I'm going to go with 36 there. And then you notice it sizes up a little. I'm going to go two more frames. I want one smaller than my size. I'm going to go 29. And then I'll go one, two more. And then I'm going to size it back to the 32. And that's the size it will keep. All right, let's take a quick look at this. One more time. And you see it's got that little uh, jiggle to it where it, it gets a little bigger, a little smaller. And the eye, it, that's very catchy for the eye. I like that. 
All right, so we've got the first one. Now we're going to actually, we're going to here, we're going to bring in our second one. So open file again. Going to go grab our image, drag that on. This is also a transparent PNG file. Uh, I want it no, roughly that big. All right, and same thing. We brought it in. We're going to pull the filter in. So you go filters if the tab wasn't there. Plus sign, size, position, and rotate. We're going to go ahead and size it down. I want it somewhere close to where my hand was going to be waving. So let's see what that looks like. All right, a little bit of farther over. Check one more time. There we go. All right, I'll take that. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger. Go with 30. 30 is good. Um, check it. I just want to see this. Okay. I like that there. Now, same thing. We're, we're going to add a keyframe for this one. And this time we're doing rotation. So we're, we'll click, click here. Go to keyframes and rotation because we're not having to set size at all. And I want the very first one is at zero. So you want to make sure that's there. If it's not there, you can just create, just add a keyframe right there. For instance, if I just, if I go in a frame, I could just create zero right there. If you put one you don't like, just remove it and it's gone. All right. So it's going to start at zero. And I want this thing to go roughly one rotation all the way around. So 360. What you said is yours, but so uh, three times around, uh, roughly 360 divided by 320 degrees. I'm too big. Let's back one. That looks like it's roughly a third. I'm just eyeballing this right now. So I want it to spin counterclockwise. That's a negative number if you're doing rotation. If I do 120, it'll go the other direction. All right, and then we're gonna go roughly another third, call that good. And 120 times two is 240, so negative 240. All right, and you can see it going around, and then at the end, I get to that last frame, and we're gonna call that negative 359. Oops, 359. That's not quite even. Let's go back. I'm going to push that one back. I'm going to push this one back. Let's reset them. So I want this one minus 120. Minus 240. And we'll just call that good. And let's take a look. And it's probably not even on that last little bit, but that's all right. So let's take a look at both of them now. All right, that's how it's done, everyone. If you've got questions, drop me a comment. I'll be happy to give you an answer. If you like the video, please hit that like button. More importantly, I can use all the friends I can get. So please hit that subscribe button too. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all be good.